I've been a part of a team that's had like a field stormed like that. Uh, so that was the first and that's definitely a special moment for me. So that alone was, was uh, definitely unique. <clears throat> and then I just think the energy that they brought uh, all night, I think what if we'd have five false starts, like that's awesome. Eight, I mean, eight false starts, <laughs> that's crazy. It's got, um, and that just goes to show that the fans can be a factor. And it's, uh, it's awesome that they were able to come out and support and do the job that they did. <laughs> The warmth, like the like the desperation of the fan base. Yeah, for like, sure. Did you feel how much they wanted this game? Yeah, I mean, there's there's like also there's always like it's really hard to ask a, a fan to scream their head off for an hour of game time. So there's those moments like I don't know, maybe it was like being at the third, middle of the third, or whatever, where you sense a little bit of a lull. But then it went in in moments that you need it, like those third downs and um, those stands the defense made. I mean, they they brought as much energy, energy as they could, and that's all you can ask for. Coach Dukes keeps at, talking about you being amped up. And what, what do you what do you need to do to rein yourself in a little bit? And, uh, I think just um, reps. I think it's just going to come down to reps. And this offense, I think it's um, you only get better with time. It's not something that you're going to perfect the, your first year running it or your first um, few games running it. And I think that we've gotten better for sure. Um, there's some things that I definitely have to improve, improve on uh, today. Just a couple just miscommunication things, a couple accuracy things that I know that I'm, I'm uh, capable of avoiding. And what does just amped up really mean to you? I think it just means like a little over like emotional. I don't know if if I would like would say like how that applies to me so much so, but I think when he says I'm amped up, it just means like I'm energetic and I, I uh, bring energy to the offense, not necessarily that it's a bad thing. Coach Stoops at the end, he said he would talk to you about that, but at the end of the day, I'm going to let Will be Will. What does that mean to you? I think it means that he trusts me and he trusts me to go out there and just play my game and let things come to me, let things kind of flow and just uh, let the game come to me and not, I have to worry and think about too much about uh, decisions, trusting in my preparation, trusting in my skills, trusting in uh, my reads and just going out there and playing football. What makes the defense good? They're awesome. I mean, uh, I, I, I think after the second and third game they definitely had some motivation to go out there and prove what they're what they're actually capable of and with last week and this week um it's awesome to show that their fundamentals and their tackling and um their ability to make big plays which they did all night tonight um is something that i know coach stoops takes a lot of pride in what's been the identity of this team for a long time now and it's great to to see that and um it just brought to that next level. Well, so I think of this team, the success has been the transfers. What does it say to you and Mondale and Jasquez and Darryl? All you guys were able to come in and make this immediate impact. I think it shows how uh, great the, the transfer portal can be for college football. I know there's a lot of naysayers and people that say that um, some kids might not be making the right decisions or be making preemptive decisions with going into the transfer portal. But I think that our team's a great example of how it can work out and how it can truly changed someone's life and uh, at the end of the day just really really happy for all those kids that found those second chances at different schools and are finally able to um, just go out there and play ball and have fun. Will when you picked up that low snap and you turned up and was playing the game it looked like Gary had gave you a pretty good push. Did you feel that? I had felt the push from somebody. It wasn't all me for sure. But yeah, it was just a miscommunication thing. Uh, they were communicating on the D-line. Luke had heard me, at, heard that as the snap and kind of second-guessed himself and just kind of dribbled it back there. So I just had to pick it up and try to do something with it. But glad it worked out. Um, but yeah, definitely felt a, a pretty big push from whoever that was. What's the key to sort of keeping your wits in that situation? Because if you fall in the ball and you have to kick the field goal, it's a totally different game. Well, I think it's... With ball security, it's, it's making that split-second decision. Like, if it's rolling back to you, it might not be the best decision to try to scoop it up and run, but I think I caught it on a bounce. So that's something where if I'm able to cleanly secure it and try to get up there and um, just emphasis on ball security, I mean, we had the one turnover tonight, but that was it. Um, it, was, it was good for us, but when you get in that position, just capping the ball and making sure that no one can take it from you because, I mean, there are guys in there just ripping at it constantly. So um, just playing smart football. How are you going to celebrate tonight? Uh, I can't disclose that. <laughs> <laughs> I think at the end of the game, the defense stopped them first and goal six, seven, eight times. Yeah. Can you envision if you're running an offense, nobody could stop you from scoring oh, it's eight tries? It's frustrating. I know it's going to be. Um, it's going to make them think a lot watching the, watching the film tomorrow and uh, going back, make them go back and think about what they could have done. But I just think with how zoned in our defense was, it wasn't going to matter what they were going to do. And um, <clears throat> that's awesome to have that trust in our defense. I mean, it was third and goal from the ten. We had the uh, the face mask, and, and that all of a sudden it's first and goal from the five. And no one on the sideline had any sort of doubt in them whatsoever. I mean, sure, there was that little moment of like, oh, are you kidding me? But everyone was just like, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll do it again, So which they did.
Sean, you're awesome. the first quarterback to be talking to us about a home win over Florida since 1986. Yeah. Can you wrap your mind yeah. around that one? It's, it's awesome. I mean, I know I'm part of uh, a piece of history right now, and um, it's, it's, it is really just special and looking forward to just taking it all in and celebrating with my teammates tonight and then waking up tomorrow and moving on to the next one. Yeah, you know it's obvious that Coach Stoops is not going to let you rest on your laurels. What's going to be that point of emphasis for your game moving forward? This week? My personal game? Uh, I just think that I think it's accuracy is one, and then another one it would just have to be um, – I don't know, probably just accuracy and decision making. I mean, those were two, my accuracy today on a few throws were um, not what I know I'm capable of. And that's something that I can definitely hone in during practice this week and uh, try to make my reps as game like as possible with my footwork and just my, my arm slots and my feet. And um, hopefully just can come back next week and, and perform better. Yeah,